Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at customizing your lock screen with Windows 10. Now if you were to hit the Windows key and L, what this will do is actually lock your device. And here's my lock screen. So I have the clock, I have the actual date and time down below, and then I have my Wi-Fi status and even my battery status. Now if I were to click the mouse or any button on the keyboard, that'll bring up where I can enter in my password to actually get back into my Windows. Notice down below on the bottom right hand corner we have our English keyboard, we have our Wi-Fi status, we have our ease of access which if I click there it'll kind of give me a voiceover. And then I even have some power options. So I can even shut down, hibernate, sleep, or restart. Now if you're currently logged in it's going to give you a warning before you do so. You see if you shut down it's actually going to affect the people that are using the computer and any unsaved work will not be saved. And you can actually click to shut down anyway or restart anyway if you chose to do that option. But let's go ahead and come back into Windows. I'll enter my password. Now what we're going to do is customize that lock screen. So right click anywhere in a desktop and we'll click on personalize. Now I'm going to click on lock screen on the left hand side of the screen over here. This will bring us into our lock screen settings and you can see I have some options. So I currently have my background set to a picture. And just as we changed our wallpaper with a custom picture, all I have to do is click in here, choose picture, choose browse. It's going to open up my file browser and I can select the photo anywhere on my computer that I want to use for my wallpaper. The other options in here are actual Windows Spotlight. So these are just going to be Windows Spotlighted actual lock screens. These are more uh, just kind of Windows is just going to show you some nice looking images there. And you can choose to use that. The picture option again, we can choose from one of these pre-built in pictures or we can choose our own picture. And then slideshow. We can choose from an album of pictures that we use with the Photos app built in on Windows. So you'll need to first create an album inside of the actual Windows Photo app and you'll be able to show those here on your lock screen. Now all these options down below are independent of whatever option you choose, whether you choose spotlight picture or slideshow. All the options down here are going to be the same. Do I want to get fun facts and tips on my lock screen? Do I want to choose an app to show detailed status? So right now I have it set to calendar, but notice I can even change it to weather. And anything that we do in these options will be changed on our lock screen. So the clock up here is going to be consistently the same, and I can even go ahead and choose to use weather, calendar, anything like that. So I have currently the weather. I can choose apps to show quick statuses, so I can choose to get quick updates if I have mail, if I have anything on my calendar, if I've missed any phone calls, if I've missed any messages. Notice I even have more apps I can choose. So I can choose to say, oh, if I have any alarms that are coming up, I'll choose to see alarms on my lock screen. Maybe I have an Xbox friend that wants to message me, so I can choose to do Xbox. Or I can just choose to have it set as none. But these are all the default actions that you can choose to show as quick statuses on your lock screen. In this show windows background picture on the sign in screen, if I turn that off, what is going to happen, we'll go ahead and lock our screen here. Notice now that weather icon I've set, the status is over here on the left hand side of the screen, so there's that weather. And if I click now, notice that there's a blank color palette instead of my wallpaper. So that option that I had just set down below here, show windows background picture. Notice if I change my background to see my custom background, we'll go to lock screen and then show background picture. Now let's lock our device. We'll get past the lock screen and now notice that there's a wallpaper there. So notice now it did not pick in my custom wallpaper and it just chose to use the default windows one. So that is going to be regardless of whatever your custom wallpaper is. It's just going to use the default windows wallpaper for that lock screen. Then there are options down below for screensaver timeout and screensaver settings. The reason that these are down here is because you can actually have your screensaver set. So notice the screensaver starts after 10 minutes and on resume it's going to display my login screen. So that is the screen that we just saw. And that's the reason that the screensaver is down here is because if you actually have the screensaver enable, you can have it whenever you try and get back on your computer, show this login window. So if you didn't want the login screen to show with your screensaver, all you have to do is come into the screensaver settings, turn this off and your screensaver will go on. And then once it starts, if you move the mouse or hit a keyboard, you won't have to log back in. But the Windows key and the L key will automatically lock your computer no matter where you are. 
That's what I've been doing here is just hitting the Windows key and then L. It locks my actual computer and I'm going to have to enter in my password to get back in. So that's all I've been doing here when I do that. With the screensaver option, if you choose not to have it show the login screen, you'll just be able to get right back into your computer. But I suggest leaving this on. It gives you just a little bit more security. So that way, if you happen to be away from your computer for any given amount of time, when your screensaver goes on, you'll have to log back in to get back in. So that is customizing your lock screen. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech. We'll see you in the next video.